What's going on, y'all? Sonny G Morning Show. Uh, backstage at the KML House of Soul presents the American Teen Tour. This guy right here, all smiles, <laughs> which you. is a beautiful thing to see. The one and only Khalid is in the back. What's up? Chopping hey, it up one time. Getting <laughs> on you. his best friend's helmet over here in the back. <laughs> Always. Not claiming his city. Always. <laughs> Got to. Got to so you guys, shape. real quick, since we were talking about him, you met right. in high school? No, we've been friends since second grade, actually. Oh, word. Yeah, yeah. So we lived in Germany uh, around, I was, yeah, I was in second grade. That's when I moved there. Mm. Uh, we moved. We separated. He actually lived in El Paso when I was moving to El Paso. We oh. linked up again in El Paso. Wow. Yeah. How does that transition happen that you guys are, like, in a completely different country and then you end up, like, both moving to Texas? It's crazy. I mean, the last time I had seen him before, I want to say two years ago, two, almost three, uh, we were little kids, you know, be being little kids and then leaving and then seeing each other and we're ages older, right. you know, years older. It was definitely interesting. It was weird. And we're way more closer right now than we were when we were kids. So, that, I mean, that's awesome. That's dope to reunite like that. Yeah, With somebody great. you kind of grew up with, young, young. I know. He's like, y'all stop talking about me. He's got other things. <laughs> 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 so this American teen home situation, yeah. like life has completely changed for you, right? Insane. It, right? Changed, it changed so much, but it changed for the better. Uh, I remember being in the creative process, you know, writing the album, and I was trying to find self-acceptance within who I was as an individual, and mm. I found it. I became happier, and I, I get to go out every single night, you know, and <laughs> see and see kids and people, not even just kids, people of all ages, right. singing every single word of my songs that I wrote, you know, and in such a a lonely place of mine, and uh, I'm finally not lonely anymore. So it's awesome. Yeah, because I mean, you got a gang of people who are out there right now, a sold out show, yeah. you know, here in the Bay Area, but. Well, even when you were doing a location uh, tour before yeah. this tour, yeah. you had 20-something sold-out shows. Like, yeah. that's got to be nuts. It's crazy. I mean, the growth is insane. I literally, I wrote my first song September 2015. And to be where I am right now, you know, 2017, on the later end, two years, you know, two years from then, right. is it's crazy to think about because, fast. yeah, it's so, it's so fast, but I feel like I'm handling it super well. You know, I'm I'm the same. I mean, I'm the same person I was when I started making yeah. music. Yeah, I haven't really changed. I do the same things. I like to go out and 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 hang the same way I hung before. So, as long as I get to remain who I am, I feel like everything is just gonna be, you know, awesome. From the taste of the industry and the people and whatnot that you got to deal with, which I mean, I'm sure there's a bunch. Right. Mm -hmm. And you see these other major artists and the things that they go through and the yeah. stuff that comes out. Like, what are some of the things that you might be fearful one day that you're going to have to deal with that you're like, man, I don't know how I'm going <laughs> to handle that? Uh, I feel like I'm definitely going to have to deal with a lot more paparazzi mm -hmm. soon. For sure. I've gotten, you know, I've gotten a taste and it yeah. wasn't that fun. <laughs> Well, you yeah. didn't run any over yet. TMZ right? running, nah, TMZ I mean, just running to you at the airport or something like that. I mean, I've definitely got, I've gotten stopped at the airport by paparazzi. I've gotten stopped walking out in the, of an event when I'm like, you know, chilling, trying to just get to the car. You're forgetting who you are for a second. Yeah, and then and then I'm like, oh wait, people are kind of hovering me right now with with camera phones and and pictures. And yeah. I mean. I feel like it's it's harder for my friends to adjust to that because when we chill and they see me, it's oh, it's you know, it's my my buddy Khalid, and then when we go out, you know, especially my female friends who I've been friends with for more than half of my life, right. they're adjusting very bad. I think. I mean, they they always want to fight. You know, they always want to. <laughs> Why are you running up on my partner? We yeah, trying to get out of they here. They always want to buck. I'm like, nah, it's all, it's all right. Just just ignore them. They're like, nah, get out his face. What I like them. Yeah, I love I want to be their know? friend. Yeah, and they every all of my friends are super protective, but uh, day after day we we learn how to deal with this a lot more where I can still go out and still remain myself and still have a good time but then also respect the fact that yeah. I kind of am a, you know, an, a famous artist right now. You <laughs> are. And you got to keep those people around you, man. Cuz yeah. a lot of the times it's your people around you that kind of, mm -hmm. you know what I'm oh, saying, yeah. go left, and then you're like, wait, what happened? Right, exactly. You were just like me a second ago. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> are, th are there, like, folks who, you know what I mean, being a young man, you know, are there mm -hmm. folks who maybe a couple years ago you said you just started writing records and doing mm -hmm. music in 2015? Right. That, that might have been like, 
oh, that's just Khalid, man. We ain't tripping off him. <laughs> yeah. And now they're like, oh, yeah, what's up, man? I heard I you was him. going to, we trying to go to. Uh... Oh, of course, all the time. I get so many I miss you's daily. <laughs> so many. Oh, wow. Yo, um, my birthday's coming up. Can and? you come Is it through? Cool? <laughs> you know, I get a lot of that, and I just, I blow it off, and I, I let my friends be defensive, and I let my friends speak the truth. I mean, like, my friends go so hard for me. They're like, y'all wasn't rocking with him two years ago, but now all y'all want to be his friend. Now I just keep my mouth closed. Don't say anything. Just watch. <laughs> just watch. Just scroll. I'm like, right. yeah, that's true right there. That's factual. You know? And I mean, they're, they're amazing. But there's definitely a lot of people who have talked down on me and who have been bullies to me. And when I don't respond, they get even more mad. I'm like, I, I don't know what you expected from me. You right. know, to forget? That's not going to happen. <laughs> I, have, you, I have crazy good memory. It's not going to happen. You used to jump around, right? Because you were a mm -hmm. army brat kid or yeah. whatever the case may be. So with all this, you know, destruction going on in the world, mm -hmm. has it touched some folks that are close to you that you had to check in on and make sure everything is good? For me, I feel like the closest that it's touched was, was Texas. Yeah. And I actually donated. It was, I want to say I donated in Santa Barbara. I can remember the day. Because I was getting ready to walk on stage. I heard about everything. I was like, nah, I got to stop. And I have to donate, you right. know, because... It's it's really crazy that all this is happening yeah. at the same right. time. Back to back to back. Back to back to it's back. Out of control. And it's it's hitting us. Uh but it's not just hitting us, it's hitting the world. The world. And I feel like even as Americans, sometimes we kinda think everything is just about America, but it's not, you know. There's earthquakes in Mexico mm -hmm. right now. Japan, everything. Japan, you know, all of that. And I feel like it is our duty as just decent human beings to give back, to use platforms, to be supportive. Um, I donated a lot of money, but I mean, <laughs> how but much? I want to say I donated ten thousand mm. dollars. Yeah. But I don't care about donating ten thousand dollars. I care about the people who are going to be using the money, right. who are going to be helped. Think about all the kids. Yeah. Even animals. You know, Straight we don't even think about animal. animals. You know, think about all the animals who people just upright just left them yeah. without a home, and uh, I feel like we definitely need to do a lot better. You know, and uh, I feel like all this is, is definitely, everything's definitely going to get better, but we kind of have to step up and use use our mouths, you know, use our brains right. and, and find ways to help. And Absolutely. vote with our dollars, just like you did, right. which is very important as well. Yeah. yeah. We've got a big show coming up this weekend. I know. So you're about to dip off. Our iHeart is messing with you crazy. Yeah. Vegas, bro. <laughs> Vegas, bro. I know. I'm excited. Uh, it's, it's, it's definitely, it's nerve wracking because I look at myself and, I'm a fan of many, and so I get to kind of, you know, sing around, or, or those people get to listen to me, they get to watch me as well, not just, you know, just my fans, but also other artists, yeah. and I think that that's so cool, I get to watch right. shows, you know, see people perform, I'm super excited, it, it's definitely going to be, it's definitely going to be nerve-wracking, but... Uh, yeah, I always get nervous. Bro, you've been, you've been rocking sold out shows all over the country. How are you nervous going out to Vegas to go perform? I mean, nervousness excites me. So I like being nervous. I'm cool being nervous because it shows that I'm still human. Yeah. So I never want to not be nervous. Hopefully, I, I'm, I'm not. Hopefully, I'm nervous for a while. <laughs> but so I'm excited. Cute. Yeah, it's going to be a dope show, man. Yeah. Who are you excited to see there? Or when you're talking about like your mentors or people that you look up to Let's in the see. game, like. Who were some of your favorites when you were coming up? I feel like, so favorites when I've been coming up as an artist, there's so many. I love folk music. Like, I love Fleetwood Mac. Really? Yeah. Take it back then. All right. I yeah. have the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> I love Fleetwood Mac, Little Lies and Dreams and all that favorite songs of mine. Uh, I love Father John Misty, who's also another American folk artist. Mm. Uh, I'm big on girl groups. I love SWV. Mm -hmm. Uh, I love TLC. I'm a big fan of Aaliyah, Brandy, because mm -hmm. my mom raised me that way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in Vogue, all of that, you know. Um, I love Frank Ocean, of course. Yeah. There's so many. I mean, it's crazy just how much music exists in the world. And I love, I love all of it. I'm all the way down to classical music. I was, I was training in high school. I stopped. Probably should go back, but <laughs> yeah, it's just just appreciation of just music as a whole, and then kind of not necessarily using the sounds, but using the vibe that you felt when you mm -hmm. listened to the the music, and, and yeah. the process of creation is just amazing. So I, I have so many influences. I mean, and you got to work with Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind of. I mean, you know, you <laughs> contributed to something. Yeah, though, and which it was is pretty tight. Which is super cool, and uh, I actually met him, and he's 
he's I mean he's everything you would expect him to be. He's so real. He's yeah. so down to earth. Uh, he's super cool, and I mean hopefully we get to collab on an actual song. You know, I'm so glad that he used my voice for for the heart part four. I mean that was awesome. I freaked out literally. <laughs> When I found out it was happening, I'm like, no way, you know, because it's one of my favorite rappers. So, I mean, it's just checks off the checklist right now. Just right. checking everything and just waiting, just waiting patiently. You're going to have to keep at it. k yeah. you heard the man. Yeah. What's the, what's <laughs> Let's the, get together. What's the biggest check for you? Like, what's the thing that you're, like, uh, super, like, yo, when I get time and when I really can, this is what I want to do to make my mark? I definitely feel like I want to win a Grammy and yeah. win you got to speak it into existence. Do you know? it. When I win, I mean, I'm going to sit back and be like, wow, you know, I, I did, did I did that. Yeah. And especially, you know, in life, we all fight. We all fight negativity. There's always people who doubt us, who hate on us because they're insecure. And so there were so many people who picked at me and told me that I couldn't do this. And I'm doing this right now, which is mm -hmm. awesome. But... I feel like the icing on the cake is gonna be that Grammy, you know. <laughs> when I have the when I have that Grammy and put it in, I don't know if I'm gonna put the Grammy in my mom's crib. I put every other award in my mom's crib, but I think I'm gonna yeah, keep, keep the Grammy. The house. That's what <laughs> I was gonna say. So the VMA is at mom's the v, house. The, right. VMA, the Grammy is going to the crib. The VMA is at my mom's house, but the Grammy, I th I definitely want to look at it every time yeah. I every time I wake up and be like, wow, you know. Right. And just then when you get the next one, the first one can go to mom's Yeah, then, then it can go right, to mom's right. <laughs> But because it's just so crazy to think about, even, even winning the VMA, just so many amazing artists who hold them, you know, yeah. who, you, who you're holding a part of history with. Yeah. Michael Jackson, yeah. you know, all these crazy, Lady Gaga, all these crazy, talented individualists, you know, holding these awards. And hopefully I get to work super, I am working super hard, and hopefully that work pays off and I get to win one. And I get to go down in history, and maybe 20 years from now there'll be another kid who's like, Khalid, this, you know? Yeah. I think I think that's gonna be awesome. That is gonna be you, baby. Thank you. I call you on a monster on the radio all the time. <laughs> I'm like, you. this monster is gonna be out here. And like by the looks of the people filling the venue tonight. Yeah. Like the fact that you're so humble and dope. Thank you. I mean, you've looked me in the eye maybe 10 times this whole <laughs> interview. <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're coming right. from a sweet, honest place. Thank and you. I think that we need more people like you, Thank more people you. like Logic, more people like, yes. you know what I'm saying, awesome. that'll talk to our young people and just right. remind them to, mm -hmm. to be a real person every Thank single you. day. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank That's you. dope. That's all right. No, we appreciate you, man, <laughs> being in the Bay and selling yeah. out the show and rocking with us. I always love coming up here. It's just the vibe is... You can't Chill. you can't recreate this, you yeah. know. I debate goes so hard at the shows; they go off, and I mean, I'm excited. This is the last, the official last, you know, date for the American Team Tour right now. So I mean, it's gonna be a good one. Put it down out there. Though. Yeah, I appreciate you being back here <laughs> with us too. Oh, we're so shaking. Much. I'm yeah. gonna hug you out. <laughs> I, my, I talk with my hands a lot. I was like, <laughs> look, she want a handshake. <laughs> I got a handshake. <laughs> <laughs> Backstage is the Cameo House of, Soul, uh, House of Soul presents the American Teen Tour. Khalid, the very humble, beautiful smile, Khalid. <laughs> My guy. Young, dumb, Thank and broke you. out here doing things. <laughs> <laughs> right. Not broke no more. Let's take Not the dumb part no out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all.